So you brought along an expert witness, John Koskinen, who's the chief economist at the Department of Revenue. John, just tell us what it, what would be the, the state impact? You studied uh, some experience that happened in Oklahoma, in Oklahoma with the Oklahoma the city team. So maybe you can uh, shed some light on that. Right. The Frequently you'll hear that the proposition that if the bucks leave, you won't impact the economy, other things will backfill it. That is totally not the case. If you go to the granular level data from the Regional Economic Accounts, Bureau of Economic Analysis, you can sort of follow what happens when an NBA team enters the economy and leaves the economy, and the case study is Oklahoma. Keeping an NBA team means $130 million to the state gross domestic product. You can see when that team left Seattle to go to Oklahoma City, Washington took the hit, Oklahoma got the gain. The prospect for us, for the bucks to leave, is we would lose that growth state product. Right now, what it means is we get six and a half million from the NBA just from withholding, just from the individual income tax. So the state is very much a partner. The state is intending to pledge four million out of the current six and a half, and every growth after that is golden. If the bucks leave, you lose the six and a half. There is this, among all economic development projects from the amount of money the state has to put in, this is a strong positive rate of return and it pays off right away. Okay, Do, have you done any analysis on the, the economic development impact beyond? Uh, no, mine, I'm keeping it very narrow. I'm not even focusing on any ancillary development. There's no multipliers in that number. There's nothing about construction jobs. Those are all there. But in terms of does it pay off for the state, it pays off for the state to keep an NBA team. And the difference is, and it's a game changer, is the NBA media rights. Okay, what I happens know. is the, let me finish. The NBA will be an export industry in the state of Wisconsin. When Disney and Turner Network Television are paying 2.6 billion, and we get a share of that action, that is going to be a boost to the state economy, and it's paid by people who don't live here. It is not one of these nice and little admission taxes things. These are checks that are being written to the NBA teams that support economic activity in this state. We have to think sort of forward looking and realize that every time you have one of these little devices these days, the NBA can stream worldwide. That's why those contracts are that big. And the question is forward looking whether or not the state of Wisconsin wants to be a player in that new emerging digital rights aspect of an entertainment industry that is the NBA, or does it want to take a pass? In terms of just from the state income tax and the amount of money the state has to put in, we'll wind up paying out 80, but we're going to get 300 back. You're paying 80, 80 million? Four over, million over, over each year over years. 20 years. But you get 300 million over that same time? Correct. And that's not including the media rights you just talked about? No, that's basically, the, the media rights pay the players. Okay. Wisconsin's income tax means we're a partner in this. Every time um, LeBron James appears in Milwaukee and plays, part of his salary is paid to the state of Wisconsin. Any NBA player that appears here plays in the state of Wisconsin. All the folks that travel with the teams will pay to the state of Wisconsin. That economic activity, you'd like to wave your hands and think it's going to be, oh, well, we'd get it back someplace else. I'm sorry, you know, 2.6 billion is a people are paying to see these performers. Nike will drop one billion over the next eight years for uniform rights. Wisconsin will get a piece of that action if we have an NBA team and it'll walk away if we don't. 